We've talked recently about, you know, the Maple Leafs, the seven-game winning streak, forcing the hand of Brad Treliving. Does he need to do something, get more in the mix? Uh, what once was sacred, whether it's prospects or first-round draft picks, maybe not so much um, anymore. But from the Vegas end of things, I mean, a couple of things. One, I don't think anyone's forgotten in Vegas how the Maple Leafs handled, handled them uh, most recently, 4 nothing after the first period. And everyone said, whoa, yeah. we didn't see that coming. But nonetheless... Um, you know, what is, uh, I'm always curious about Kelly McCrimmon uh, around trade deadline time. When we talked to the Vegas general manager in Seattle at Winter Classic, you know, he talked about how, you know, when they identify someone, they heavily scout that person. I think it was like 50 viewings of Ivan Barbashev last year before yep. they pulled the trigger. Um, any, any idea what Vegas has up their sleeve? Because I can't, I can't see a trade deadline, Elliot, coming and going without hearing from Kelly McCrimmon in some way. Well, I just think that if you look at it, like, they're good enough to win, right? And uh, I, yes. I think, you know, obviously, if you think you're good enough to win, uh, you, then you go for it. And the, I think the other thing with them, too, is that there's not a feeling of being easily satisfied. Well, we won the Cup last year. Yeah, okay, well, last year was last year, and this year is this year. You want to go for it again. So, um, you know, the whole Mark Stone situation definitely throws uh, a curveball at them. Yep. Um, you know, like people talk about what it means for the cap. I look at it as more what it means for the player. You know, Mark Stone is just such a hugely important player for their team that if there's any concern that you're not going to have them, that's a massive, massive loss. But I, I do, I, I do believe they're one of the teams in and around Gensel. Um, you know, I, I the one thing that when I when I listen to Dubas, he talks about how they don't want. They want guys who can kind of help them now. And the one thing about Vegas is they have some players who are, you know, AHL or borderline AHL, NHL, or fresh NHL, that if Pittsburgh is looking for young pros, they have uh, that kind of thing in their organization, depending on how the Penguins feel about them. So I I just find it very hard to think that Vegas is not going to take a swing at the biggest player available. And if, you know, if, if, If it's not him, then I guess, Jeff, it's our job to figure out who else they might be interested in.